now been delayed once again, which now gives Melly's lawyers more time for him to be released on bond until trial begins. It all begins with the report of, and I quote, YNW Melly's retrial has been delayed till February 5th, 2024, as this new delay is now based around the new jury being taken off of his trial this week. This was very creative lawyer work done by YNW Melly's team so then they can work on a release date. To understand further and when, we're gonna need to dive deep into YNW Melly's ex lawyer, who has now just done an interview answering the question on why the judge has delayed the trial. Let, let me ask you about what the judge did here. Were you surprised that the judge just, you know, got rid of the whole jury panel, basically sided with the defense? Why do you think he did that? I, I, I think that the judge doesn't want this to come back and appeal, so he's going over and above of what you normally see because he knows if, if, if this is a not guilty, the state can't appeal it, right? If, if there's no appeal from the state. It would only be if this is a not guilty, it would be an appeal from the defense. So a lot of judges go over and above for a defendant to make sure that they eliminate all appellate, possible appellate issues. From YW Melly's perspective, the pro is there is now lots of time to build up new evidence proving that he's innocent alongside a chance of receiving a bond. However, the new negative is that if YW Melly is found guilty, he will likely now no longer be able to appeal this case. The retrial is now an all-in situation for YW Melly and YW Borland. With the trial now delayed, Melly's lawyers are working around a case dismissal due to his rights being violated. As it all begins when it was announced, YNW Melly's lead attorney, Jamie Benjamin, filed a second motion to dismiss for government and prosecutor misconduct in violation of the defendant's due process rights with the Brower clerks on Monday, November 1st. As YNW Melly has a very high chance of release, all due to his rights being violated per the 14th Amendment. Have added Christine Bradley, the prosecutor herself, to the witness list and five other attorneys from the state attorney's office who they say knew about the situation. That's seven attorneys from the state attorney's office. Because of this, Melly's attorneys are saying keeping Christine Bradley and this state attorney's office on this case this is not only a conflict of interest, it's actually a violation of Melly's right to due process, which is a part of the 14th Amendment. However, there's only one thing now standing in YNW Melly's way from receiving a bond. As after his lawyers submitted the case dismissal form, the prosecutors then released a never before seen video of YNW Melly, where the report goes and reads, this is the video we requested from prosecutors in the state of Florida versus Jamel Demons. We have the honor of representing the family of Christopher Thomas, aka YNW Juvie. Melly's defense attorneys filed for a motion for protective order to prevent me from obtaining this video. The video was on Melly's cell phone. It was recorded a month after he allegedly got his two friends. It doesn't show a man in mourning or even seeking answers for his lost friends, and instead, it mocks them, if not takes credit, for doing this through false expression. No regrets for that did that also awesome for the next. As this is all connected into YNW Melly's new charges, this is all due to basically YNW Borland that Melly is facing all of these new additional charges. The state filing six new charges against Demons and two others who were allegedly involved. The charges include.